Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to another video and today is day 24 of the 30 days of gold making. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Right, so today we have sold the mechanical chicken and to be honest, in like about 13 hours of it being up, it's selling, I'm very happy with that. This has brought our total for looting for the day is around about 30,000 gold, so really happy, really pumped. Now let's get into the farms. Right, so the first one that I did was the frozen orb flip, but I'm going to explain it a little bit differently right now. Basically, what you're going to be wanting to do is go into your TSM and set it up like this. You're going to be wanting to go into your operations and you're going to want to set the eternal fires as well the minimum price is 80 gold. Now this roughly is close to the 5% cut of from the auction house and when you buy them from the vendor they're 75 gold you just add 5% on and there you go that is your minimum buyout because then as long as it sells you're still getting your money back. Then for your maximum I put it at around about 99 percent of the db market value or the db historical market value whichever one is working best for you on your realm i prefer the, the historical value so i go with that now having this set up like this you won't be losing gold as long as they sell and to be honest eternals always sell it just takes time for them to sell so it's either you're going to break even or you're going to make profit as long as you set those operations up which i'm showing in this video right now. The next farm that I did was Karazhan and Karazhan is probably one of the best farms as it has a chance to drop in the Blade of Wizardry and a load of other rare recipes. Now I managed to pick up a few bits of Transmog and one of the pets which was the Custodian from where you farm up all the Primal Manor. In addition to that I managed to pick up some Primal Manors. Now these are selling quite well on the auction house so I look forward to seeing if they sell over the night. And to be honest, I prefer to do Karazhan every week with pretty much most of my tunes as it gives me a quick amount of gold. I just usually skip the chess event, but I didn't this time as I wanted to see if I could get the battle pet from the last boss, which I did not unfortunately, but that's the risk you take for just an extra few minutes of your time. Now the last farm that I did was the Black Temple. And why did I do the Black Temple? Easy. Because it has a chance of dropping the Blade of Wizardry again, along with a load of other materials and transmog items, which then I can sell on the auction house. I managed to pick up quite a few, and I will be putting these on the auction house as well. Also along with that, I managed to pick up a couple of battle pets along with that, so really happy with that there as well. Now all in all, today has been quite a great day and I thought I'd try and do something a little bit different as well as me just showing you the farms. I thought as the eternal flips, I can actually just show you how I managed to, to make profit with those. Now with that said, we have around about 330,000 golds worth of looted item value items on the auction house and I look very much forward for tomorrow. Now I hope you like this video and if you want to see more like this, please feel free to give this video a like and as always, have an awesome day guys. Yeah. 